Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another episode of Brew and Build. Today, I've got some fun stuff to do, fun stuff to show you. We're not going to be building here in the steampunk city. We do have a little bit of something to do with Felix over there, uh, but we'll get to that in just a second. So, I made a map of this place, and it I gotta say, it looks pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> it honestly looks pretty, pretty crazy. Um, it's pretty cool. I like being able to see everything. It's gonna be fun to be able to see everything be built. And look how, how little compared to the actual upper city this is gonna be. And this is how far out the city is actually gonna go on some portions. It's not gonna go out that far on every single area. This definitely is gonna shorten off. So this can be the start of a second district. So I was thinking, you know how originally we had these ideas like this is gonna be the industrial district. That's gonna be the like vegetation district or the flora district, that's what we called it. Um, then there's gonna be like the harbor district and then some other one like the, the miscellaneous, the jack of all trades district. Um, and uh, I like that idea, and I think we're going to keep that idea for these strips of um, various different stores and things. But what I think is also a cool idea is to make it more about the districts on a horizontal level. Because we're flying, I think working up is better than working like out, if that makes sense. So... What we're gonna do is, I think this upper district is gonna be called the Stratus District. And Stratus is just like from stratosphere. Um, the stratosphere is the layer of the atmosphere that's above cloud height. And so clouds, when we have clouds at normal height, actually spawn um, like in that house or a little below it I believe maybe a little above I'm not sure I don't remember how high but I know our mob farm is actually like at cloud height or below or above okay it's somewhere it's somewhere in the cloud height and uh, it's I want to make this the stratus district because it's the highest and the the best um, in terms of livable uh, area and um, the lowest district is going to be called the cloud district and that's kind of a, a a sort of a slam against that stupid red guard in skyrim in um you know which one i'm talking about the one that's in uh in skyrim and he's in white run and he's like do you ever make it to the cloud district oh what am i saying of course you don't i hate that guy i hate 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 that guy so we're gonna make the cloud district the absolute lowest popperish type of district, and it's gonna be great because that dude's gonna be in the popper area, and uh, it's just my way of getting back at him. I would like to sleep. Ooh, that's pretty. Shaders just make everything pretty. Um, I've got some fun stuff to show you, uh, so let me go ahead and sleep so we can get rid of this uh, beautiful sunset. And we really need to get a llama up there again, don't we? <laughs> Maybe we'll work on that sometime. We'll get a llama or. A chicken since we have so many chickens over there um but let me sleep and then i will get to showing you some stuff all right so i've been building up some houses for us to have people living in that's what a house does um and it's going off of what we did yesterday's in yesterday's episode and looky here Multiple houses have been made. There's one here, one back there, and one right here. And it's all going off of, so the house that we built yesterday, a lot of planning has been done. The house we built yesterday was this one. I actually, I added a little chimney to it so that it had some smoke coming out. I think it adds a lot. Each house is gonna have a chimney. Um, and I took that design from a Wells Knight video modified it a little bit to add a hay block um, so if you if you just do like blocks going all the way up to make it look like a chimney snack and then you put I've got two trap door sets there and that's because there's a hay block on that bottom one and then a campfire on the top one and you you can't see anything from the you can't see that at all uh, the campfire that is 
So this is the house we built yesterday. It's very cool. I really like it. And then I built this one. I've been doing a lot of planning. And uh, as you can see, we've got some, some stuff going on. And what I'm thinking is this is going to be where the grass is and these slabs are. This is going to be a sort of... Um, an island that is floating holding a couple houses up holding three houses up and potentially four because I built that um, which I'll show you in a second um, and I need to move this guy backwards just a bit but this is gonna be instead of having each house floating individually this one's gonna be floating individually but most of the time houses are gonna be broken up into these little chunks where they are all supported by a, like two windmills uh, these things rather than having them like each individually have one I don't think there's room down below to have a whole bunch of these little windmills or the big style windmill not enough room down below to have all those and have them actually look like a neighborhood so what we're gonna do is do this we're gonna have them broken up into these little islands that are floating so this is all gonna be not here this is not going to be stone this is going to be air and so you're going to be able to fall off the city from the, like this red line on right here this is all going to be open this is going to be flying on its own i think it's going to add a lot to have some houses that are just simply flying by themselves it's going to be pretty cool i really really like it um, so you're going to have the this is all going to be gone felix is moving today hence why there's <laughs> it's all this stuff um, so you're going to come around here. The walkway is going to be here and you'll be able to walk along. These are all going to be like row houses. I have to figure these out now because a little bit because of this house being a little more interesting. We'll take a look at it in a sec. Um, but the walkway is going to kind of extend this way. Maybe we'll have a park or something here to deal with this house. I'm not sure. Um, but there's going to be a little bridge right here to be able to get over to this house easily. And then you can walk around here. There will be a small little bridge here. I decided to bump this house up since it's flying by itself. Um, bump it up so we can have an interesting bottom here. Um, and then there will be this little floating land, which there's going to be a house here. But it's going to have to be interesting shaped. I don't really want to move it. I want to try and build around uh, the build I've already made. There's going to be a bridge here over to here and there will be this walkway we've got this walkway here between this house this house and this house this one obviously it's gonna have to move due to Felix's new home and then there's gonna be a bridge right here and we're just gonna continue this and make it so that these upper houses are just kind of on floating little islands and I think it's gonna be great um, let's take a look at this house. This one's interesting. This one was an interesting one to build for sure. So you have to enter via ladder. And then this is the uh, chimney. We'll eventually do the interior and get the chimney in here. But I made it so it's it's pretty tight on the inside, but it's got a nice little porch. And I think it's pretty nice having a little porch here. Look how many chickens we got. We got so many chickens now. Um, but... I'm not fully done. I haven't added all of the birch buttons uh, and things, as you can see, but I think it's good. Now, you may be wondering, what is this house that I can't hardly see because of the uh, shaders? That is Felix's house, as I said before, and it's going with the style of our mob farm house. So he it basically, he didn't have enough money to build one of these fancy homes, so he wanted to live on in the upper district but he wanted to have just a small little home so he built this little tiny home he flew it up here and attached it to this house and say this is his parents and he's renting from it because the only way to get to it is uh actually from this house for us personally uh, so you have to go in here climb your way up and then climb these stairs and then you've got the little rickety bridge and obviously this is not going to be here this is just to get him in and then we've got a gate and a trap door as double protection to make it so he can't leave so that we can just do that and boom he can't leave and then this all is in here i'll show you the inside there's a chicken he's got a pet chicken um, i'll show you the inside in just a little bit because we're gonna move him and now all right, Felix, it's time for you to be free. 
Come here, buddy. Felix? Hey, Felix. Felix! You know, I wish this was bedrock. Because in bedrock, you can lead villagers around. I want to be able to put a lead on this dude's head, pull him into this minecart, and be able to call it a day. Oops, I don't want to do that. Hey, Felix. I need you to get get in the minecart. Get in the minecart. Get in the minecart. Go. Get in it. Get. Get in it. All right, if this doesn't get Felix, I don't know what will because I am having the hardest time getting him into a freaking minecart. It this is this is terrible. Like this is this is this is awful. Felix? Felix. Felix. Thankfully, he goes back to his bed every single night so I can at least try and get him there. Oh, thank the Lord. Oh my goodness. That took the longest time for us to get him in a stupid minecart. I've never had an issue like that before, but today we don't have to deal with that anymore. So I'm sorry, Felix. I will break that in a second, but go on your maiden journey. And he should go all the way up and Felix. Okay, had a little bit of a hiccup there. Go, 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 go. Yes. All right, he should make it. Uh, will he actually make it? He may not. Oh, he did. Thank you. Please don't die, Felix. He's here. Boom, baby. All right, Felix. This is your new home. You've got a bed. You've got a lectern. You're all set, buddy. There we go. And boom, right to bed, Felix. Man, boy, you are good. Why is that broken like that? There we go. All right. So, Felix, how do you like it? Do you like it? Still giving me a good mending trade, I see. Very good, very good. Ah. It's nice to have, oh, I forgot. I need to put glass back in that window. Wee. Um, I'll put glass back in that window in just a second. Um, but this is Felix's house. It's pretty nice. I've decked it out with a whole bunch of bookshelves just to keep him busy. Some nice flowers. Nice little home pet chicken. He's got a little kitchen area with a furnace installed and everything. And I think it's a, it's pretty cute. I like it. I think it's very nice. Got a little few cabinets here and there. Bed. He is happy. So welcome to your new home. Fix it, Felix. I'm sorry I can't take you with me. But enjoy your life. And I'll see you later. Okay, bye. All right, now that Fix It Felix is in his new home, let's get started with today's building project. So I'm gonna go gather up a whole bunch of sand. We're not gonna be here anymore in the steampunk city. I wanna go build in our new jungle biome. And so I'll, I'll see you over there in just a little bit. And uh, yeah, I've got, then we can start talking about some of the fun ideas I've got with the Colas gates. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys, we are right next to our teleportation area. If you didn't know, in our uh, last video, I believe, I think it was last video, we introduced the idea of a Colas gate, which is just a means of transportation for us. Uh, it's teleportation. And basically, as long as Colas gates are 200 by 200 blocks away from a city, um, then we're allowed to use them, and it's gonna make us use the chest plate more. So basically, I got tired of just flying around. I got tired of that. Um, and so I want to use the chest plate more. Now, today we're not going to because I don't have the path made and I want to show you the build style for the area. Um, but I wanted to say if you see some texture changes, I am going through uh, our texture pack and really removing and re upping uh, a lot of the textures. As you can see, the uh, polished granite is no longer having bricks. I, I just don't really think that that is the best solution for it. Um, you'll see the path block is back to the normal path block. Um, I just think this is better, honestly. Uh, this door I had altered. I'm going to just probably incorporate B00's uh, new doors. They're just simply better. 
some of the glass is back to normal. All the glass that we've been using is um, still the way it is uh, with the, the textures. But I, I, I just want to kind of go through our texture pack and change it up. I want to uh, basically just make it better um, over time and just allow a work in progress download rather than a full on texture pack download. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that um, but just wanted to let you know if you see, see some texture changes. Most are the same, um, but I did remove some and or I forgot to. So this is the command block that for now is going to be teleporting us between our world and the jungle biome that we're building in. And this is 10,000 blocks away, as you can see, negative 10,930. And um, so this is our Colas Gate. If you didn't get to see last episode, I would definitely check it out. Um, very cool. I love this concept. Um, basically, the way it works is you just step on this, and it teleports you right on back to the little button. So if you want to go back and forth, you can. Definitely something that is uh, worth doing. I really like it. I really think that this is a great thing for our world. Um, and yeah, I wanted to grab a bit of this jungle wood, uh, before we headed off because what we're going to be doing today is building and it's going to be great. Ooh, let me grab some of the sand and some of the smooth sand. I think that's a, going to be needed. Now I'm going to keep this here, this stuff here, because I am going to be working on a path that cuts through the jungle. Um, that's just going to take time. So for today, we are going to fly because it's just easier. And right over here, you can see our little marker right there is where we're going to be. Um, but I have made a little camp, as you'll be able to see, right here. So we've got a little camp on this island, and I've kind of made it like a shipwreck almost landed in here, and all this floating wood is here. You can see a layout of what we're going to be building um, I also already destroyed everything that was in there and uh, got all the loot. There was not really anything. I think three diamonds was the best loot. So let's look here. So we've got this fun area here. We've got all this floating wood that is kind of just like lumber that's floating around from uh, like a crash and uh, or a shipwreck, I, sh I should say. And we've got all this floating wood lets us get in and out pretty easily. And I've basically just set up like a survival camp. Like if you are shipwrecked on an area and you've got all the supplies from the shipwreck that you can just build your own little castaway type place. So we've got a little kitchen here. I'm gonna store some stuff in here. I made an auto smelter, which was fun. Um, currently we are smelting up smooth sand because I went and gathered up three or four shulker boxes worth of, of that. And uh, so this is all sand. This will be sand all sand I'm just going to continually get it because this build uses a lot of it and then smooth sand is going to be right here in this chest and it's going to be absolutely great probably actually should make this entire row uh, slabs and stairs actually slabs will go there I have a very specific way of doing slabs and stairs it's kind of interesting so that's jungle wood, and jungle wood I think will go here. Oh wait, no, forgot. Our jungle wood goes in this barrel, or this chest. Chest, I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> I still have stuff to figure out. This is jungle fencing. Uh, we can put that down here. And then the logs are right here. Boom, but since we're here, we don't need our elytra anymore. So elytra, you get to go in there. And there's all our yellow sugar boxes. So I have made this area, and I really like it. I think it's pretty fun. It's pretty neat, and it's like just a little, a little dorky place to have a, a little bit of uh, a nice retreat. Um, nothing in there apparently. But what's cool about this is you've got all these gaps and stuff. But if you put trap doors down like this and flip them down, you can walk right over them. So you can actually walk over these one wide gaps no problem and so i've just made it so it looks like you have to hop around but you actually can just run right across and i think that's actually pretty cool but what are we building today so i have a build concept i made 
uh, in our creative world that is going to be super cool, I think. It's super different. It's very, very unique. I've laid out already what I need to do to be able to make the shape of the building, the general shape. Hey, buddy. Go. I wish if you hit them. There you go, bud. Um, so the general shape is going to be pretty weird. Um, and you're going to see that. <laughs> you're definitely going to see that. But I think it's going to make for a really cool uh, jungle. It was between making the uh, jungle village. I think it was between jungle and desert. And I couldn't find a desert that I liked well enough to build in. And I thought this place was just super cool. So I want... Oh, I don't have my elytra on. Ooh, that's sad. Let's put our rockets up since we don't need them right now. Um, I was going to show you a bird's eye view, but my thinking is that this place is going to be, it's got ocean access, and so there's going to be like houses on these little islands. Eventually, this will probably have a little small house on it. We'll probably make this island a little bigger. Bridges going between places. Um, all along the coast, we're going to clear like we did over here. And we're going to just make in all these types of uh, weird houses around this area. And it can expand even further back into the jungle a bit. But it's going to be nice. It's going to be pretty cool. I think what's going to be interesting is how cleared of leaves it's going to be compared to every other part of the jungle. Um, but let's get into the build concept. So let me go ahead and build up the walls because I think that that'll be the easiest way it's not going to be hard um basically i'll show you what i've got laid out right now so we've got this ring and that is going to stay there um but basically it goes like this it goes two up and this is a circle that goes three two one and then two three so not a very big circle not very hard but it goes two up then out by one goes three up and then goes in by three and going up one at a time. And then it's gonna extend up a little bit more. And basically, this is gonna be like a gourd city. And it I, I promise you it's it's cooler than what it sounds like, but it's cool. I really like it. it once you add texture and stairs as well, it definitely adds a lot. But the sun is going down, so let me sleep, get these uh, walls built, and then I'll come back with you to show you kind of what we're looking at and how to tackle the top part. All right, so we have the overall shape done. It does look a little funny. Don't worry. It gets better once you add slabs and stairs and things. But this is the overall shape of the house. Now we need to do the top part that really makes it feel um, better. Because <laughs> right now it kind of is a weird shape. Um, I added these uh, slabs to the top. I think it looks good. I really, really like how this house turns out. Um, the end product is definitely worth looking into. So there's going to be a fence line that goes along this top and we're gonna have to be on the top to actually do it so let me get back up there and so we are gonna do fences all the way around and the nice thing is then we can kind of just do this as we go so we're gonna put trap doors on every single one except these middle ones there's gonna be slabs on those and oops and uh, then it's going to do, we're going to do some slabs and they're going to come up to a point, uh, well, kind of a, a another inner circle sort of thing. Actually, let's do this. Boom. Okay. Goodbye forever. And so we're going to do some slabby slabs right here. And then we're coming in every single one, making a smaller and smaller circle. And then eventually... We'll get to use some more sandstone. And I don't know what exactly inspired this uh, build style. I kind of just wanted something different to do while building the Steampunk City. Because the Steampunk City is going to be quite a big undertaking, uh, as many of you know. And so since it's going to be so big, we need to have our uh, breaks and our ability to 
change up what we're doing so we don't get bored. That's the thing that I am afraid of with the Steampunk City is getting bored. Now let's get some slabs, I think, here. So we'll do some sandstone slabs here, here, and here. And then we're going to add trap doors here, here, there, and a bada boom right there. And that is this top portion done. Let's take a look at it. I can't, I am so used to flying down that I just, I jump off everything. So that is the overall shape of what the, the house is going to be like. Um, it's kind of a weird gourd and I really like it. <laughs> um, let me go ahead and do some interchanging of stairs and slabs. Basically what's gonna be happening is I'm gonna be taking these corner bits and getting rid of the uh, sides here and rounding it out. This really helps if you're trying to make a round something or other, definitely add slabs and stairs because if you add stairs well, mainly stairs on, on these sorts of things. If you add stairs on the ends here, that already is helping round this entire thing out and just makes it a little bit better. Now, these portions we can't because if you break it, you'll see on the inside. But these portions that are on the end where there's no connection block, you can do that. And so if you do it strategically enough, you can have a very nice, complete-looking build in pretty much no time. So let me go ahead and do that. I might do some texture variation as well but with some other sand materials. Um, and then I'll come back and show you and we can tackle the interior. All right. I have gotten a lot of the detailing done. As you can see, we now have a campfire in there. And overall, I think that adds so much. Just the campfire alone adds so much to this build. So as you can see, texture variation has been applied and we now have a door, which is always good, need a door. And what we're, we've got uh, some fences for the windows. We're not gonna be using glass or anything. This place is very, very warm, I would imagine, being a jungle. So they don't need any uh, sort of like I don't know, window to keep cold out. They don't need a sealed anything. It's more arid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this doorway a nice little, there we go. Um, I wanted to do that and make this just a little, um, how you say, we're gonna have to do that, aren't we? Yeah little arch I think it'll look pretty nice and it'll add just a little bit of zing to the front and I think that's gonna be good let's take a look at it hmm not sure actually if I like it it may be a bit too wide um, let's see what we can do with this I'm trying to think of if it why I think it may be too wide all right, I think I figured it out. So it was throwing me off because I was expecting it to feel thinner, but I realized I had done the roof a little wrong, um, and it's still actually wrong. Uh, we need these two slabs to go right there and there. So what I had done was... I was originally planning on it. See, this that feels better. And the issue was that these bits were a half slab lower, and so everything felt way too low. Like I had, um, I was going off of a screenshot because I, I built this and then I tore it down so that we could have we could build it together essentially. And I I, I apparently can't follow a screenshot. Um, but this is the build. It's uh, pretty nice. Uh, the front is a little different than the uh, sides. So the sides, I've busted out this type of window. Um, I think it, it's pretty nice. I really like it. Each side is the same uh, when it comes to the window. We've got some occasional trap doors because of the sand that we have in our texture variation. Um, and the inside is not complete at all but this is what the inside looks like so we're gonna have to figure out what to do in here and i may do this 
uh, on my own because I think the time is running out for this episode. Um, I don't want to go too long, but this is what the inside currently looks like, and we will do something with it, and I think it's going to be fun. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. If you guys have any sort of ideas for some builds, let me know. Um, I would love to be able to uh, do some builds with you, uh, with your ideas and things in this world, uh, because that's always fun. Ooh, let's see if we can... Ooh. Oh yeah, nope, okay, we're not doing it. Um, but that is what we're gonna do for the next couple episodes, I think, is build this area out. I may do some quick things in the Steampunk City, not really sure, but let me know what you guys think of this build style, let me know what you think of the build itself, and uh, I think it's gonna be really, really fun. It's gonna be uh, the city of like Gordella or something. If you have city names, let me know, but I call this the Gord House, so if that helps you with inspiration, um, then, uh, yeah. And if you'd like a tutorial or something on how to build this type of, um, building or how, how I would do it for the various different, like jungle setting and, or desert setting, um, I would definitely change a few things I think around for those. So if you want a tutorial, let me know. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If you like the video, leave a like in real life and I will see you guys in the next episode.